What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you install ANX camera on Android 11 ROMs and yes I have explained it on that Evolution X video previously you can watch that from the card right there too but today in this video I'm gonna actually install it on this Corvus OS and this is the latest Corvus OS by the way which I just flashed this is the version 14 of Corvus OS Venus as you can see from the Corvus version over here and the build date you can notice this is the 8th February 2021 build by the way the latest one as of right now because today is 8th February of course so yeah and this process will be working on your Redmi Note 7 Pro on your Redmi K20 Pro and stuff but for Redmi Note 5 Pro or other devices like that I'm not really sure if the ANX camera version 185R which is for Android R or Android 11 is supported for those devices but for sure I can say for the Redmi K20 Pro it's completely supported and for Redmi Note 7 Pro it is supported but the portrait mode may or may not work. So yeah it's kind of a mixed experience but you can follow this same guide to flash ANX camera on like any Android 11 based ROM on any device specifically. So the first thing you need here is of course the ANX camera itself and here if you click on this download section on this ANX camera's website you will notice there are two things like these two portions where it says full version and there it says by noid full version modded for R that is the one we are looking for because we are looking for the Android R supported ANX camera which I have already downloaded and it is about 258 MB it says over here and let me tell you you cannot flash it with recovery so that's the problem this is actually a magisk module so you will need magisk to flash this particular thing so the next thing is magisk so here we are in the magisk like github section and here if you tap on this magisk 21.4 this is the latest version as of right now and as you can see if you tap on the assets you can download it from here or I will link the Magisk file in the description box below of course you should not worry about that. So you need Magisk and the ANX camera zip file of course and of course you have to have a custom recovery installed on your device and by the way I'm gonna use the Orange Fox recovery for this session because I just simply prefer Orange Fox recovery and let me show you on this Corvus OS by the way there is only this basic camera over here the old kind of google camera yes it is working but it is really really basic camera i don't really like it at all and the front camera switching and stuff is really slow and of course i have also installed the google camera 7 unix version you can also do that but this is a google camera not gonna help you with the like beautified selfies or something like that which the miui camera is better on so yeah that's why i'm gonna flash the anx camera right now so again talking about the files we have this magisk 21.4 don't look at these other things just look at this magisk 21.4 this is all you need and the next thing is the anx camera so this is the anx camera that we are going to use this is the version 185r again so we don't need it now after flashing magisk i'll show you that and also i'm going to show you how can you get your safety net passed for apps like sbi card and stuff so right now let me just reboot to recovery and by the way my storage is decrypted over here so if you have flashed your rom with fcrypt disabler you can follow this or even if you are encrypted you can follow this you can follow this both ways but here I'm just gonna flash the magisk file and then reboot and if you're encrypted and after flashing magisk if it doesn't boot you may have to format data or something so as you can see right now my storage is decrypted you can see from this like orange fox recoveries folders and stuff it does not ask me for any password so I'm decrypted with the fcrypt disabler which I always use so right now let me just head on to my download folder and from here I'm gonna select this magisk 21.4 as you can see and I'm gonna flash it and wait for the time being now before flashing anything i will recommend you backup everything of your device just in case if something goes wrong you can restore them so right now it's just rebooting to system so currently the rom has finally booted after flashing magisk so let me just open magisk from here let's see if we can find it of course the magisk appeared over here so i'm gonna bring it on the home screen i guess let me put it here and let's open this magisk file and i mean the app and this is how it looks like so right now our work is to flash anx camera so right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna tap on this right icon where there are the modules and stuff these are the modules you can like download online but i'm gonna do it from my storage so i'm gonna click on install from storage and it opens this files kind of thing so here we have our anx camera i just located towards the file itself of the anx camera so here i tap on it 
and right now as you can see it shows flashing so just wait for the time being so as you can see the ANX camera flashing is successful so right now it's asking me to reboot so I'm gonna just tap reboot so right now let me just swipe up to check the app drawer and there it is there is the ANX camera so to actually use the ANX camera we have to go into the apps info then we have to enable all the permissions or you can also like just open the app it will ask for the permission but sometimes it doesn't so it's always better to give the permissions like from here so i just gave all the permissions over here to the anx camera so right now let me just open the anx camera and let's hit allow it will close or force close for the first time don't worry about that let me open it again and it is force closing again for the second time so let me open it one more time and right now it's working fine and here if I switch to the front camera and stuff as you can see the front camera popped out super fine no issues with that and even with the portrait mode and stuff everything should be working fine you should not worry about it and even for the rear camera portrait and stuff it should be working fine and even in the video settings as you can see everything is working there is the like 1080p 30fps video of course because we are in the front camera and if I switch to the rear camera as you can see there is the 4k 60fps mode and also you can switch between the lenses as you are noticing pretty quickly no issues with the wide angle lens than the normal or the 1x lens and the 2x telephoto zoom so yeah these things work super fine the like camera the anx camera itself is very stable for the redmi k20 pro right now this version 185r i mean and that's how you flash the anx camera version 185r on your android 11 custom roms if the roms does not come with a good camera app and right now let me show you some other stuff with the safety net so here let me show you right now if i check the safety net of course it will be broken and as you can see it is showing failed now you do not have to worry about this you should not like be panicked or something because of this let me show you how can you fix that so first thing that you're gonna do you're gonna open magisk as you can see and from the settings you're gonna scroll down a little bit and then open this hide magisk manager over here then just put any kind of name over here which you can recognize or something so i'm gonna click ok and it says hiding magisk over here now this will let other apps not see magisk over here for you so this is just asking me to add a shortcut or something i'm just gonna do that and let me just head on to the settings again after you have done that this like magisk manager hiding thing then you have to enable this magisk hide like this toggle over here that you can enable and the system list host you can enable that too if you want let me go back and over here let me go into this privacy kind of icon now from here what you're gonna do is this like it loads so let's give it some time so after it loads let me search over here so filter by name so I'm gonna search Google pay let's select that now let's search SBI card and right now as you can see I can select the SBI card app and even now let me click on right over here right now let's do one thing let's go back and right now let's check the safety net status so as you can see right now the safety net test passes completely now you can set up your google pay or something but you cannot set up your sbi card so to fix that let me show you how can you fix that so let me just open it okay so it froze kind of giving me a white screen let me do one thing let me just reboot the device so right now we have successfully rebooted the device and right now if I go into this SBI card app as you can see it opens but if I try to log in can I do that so yes as you can see right out of the box I am able to like log into my SBI card app but let me tell you if this happens to you and it does not still open let me tell you that you just open your files app and from here delete this fox folder over here sometimes you have to delete it or if you have a twrp kind of folder delete that folder if you have that like any kind of recoveries folder where you have the recoveries backup and stuff you have to delete that to actually fix this problem so right now we do not have any problem i can set up the sbi card app without any issues but yes you have to like delete those folders 
and do all the things that I showed in Magisk and reboot the device once, then you can set it up. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And that's how you flash the ANX camera and fix your safety net with any particular ROM. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends if you find it helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.